Today we are building a gaming PC by the book. So uh, as a resident dummy, I feel like this will be a very useful bit of information. A quick trip to my local library has given me all the info I could ever want. How to build a PC for dummies. Power supply, that seems useful. Aha, a bag of chips adding RAM and a CPU. So we've got Celeron processors, Core 2 Duos, and Core 2 Quads. Well, what about Core? i7? So we gotta remember, this book is from 2009. So while some of the general advice actually I do think will be helpful, a lot of the specific references to things that just simply don't exist are not. I don't think AMD has made a Phenom processor since 2012? So I'm gonna go with an i5-11600K. I know, I'm reading it correctly, okay? I know it looks a little Jesus bit weird. Jesus Christ, really? I, I am reading this book the way that a dummy is meant to be Red. Yeah, that's not helping the cause. <laughs> Never trust the book that sounds like. <laughs> All motherboards have a maximum amount of random access memory they can handle. Unless NASA has chosen you to control the next shuttle launch, a board that supports three or four gigs of RAM should be sufficient. Real techno nerds or ultra power users might demand support for up to six gigs of RAM. Techno nerd. <laughs> Let's go launch a space shuttle. Ken, what, what, what'd you get again? Can I get a Gundam motherboard? Wait. Look, wait, hang on. Oh my god, Ken, it supports up to 128 gigs. I can launch like a whole fleet of space shuttles. Next up, I need to choose a graphics card. I can choose a 3D video card from NVIDIA or ATI. What's this AMD thing? AMD makes CPUs. They make GPUs now too? You can pick one up at a local computer store for well under $75. Well, times have really changed. Well, with great power comes great debt. With one fewer kidney than I walked in with, my next task is to avoid the biggest pitfall of all. So the book does tell me not to listen to salespeople. Avoid the computer sales experience. Although used car salespeople seem to rank the lowest, computer sales pe uh, people are not much better. But thankfully we're at Micro Center, so that's not really a concern. Hello, good sir. Hi. Uh, I'm not supposed to listen to you because you're not you're not helpful apparently to according to the book, but could I find a hard drive or a floppy disk by chance? You can find a hard drive. Oh my goodness. One terabyte, it will send me back less than $80. It sent me back $49.99. Oh, you're saving money. I'm saving money, this is great. I need a copy of Windows. Do you have XP or Vista? Apparently Vista is what all the cool kids are using. Unfortunately, we only have 10 and Windows 11. Oh, 11, that's a bigger number. Can I get a Windows 11 DVD? Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, well, are you serious? Makes sense. Yeah. Well, I, okay, perfect. With my PC components under control, my next task is to find the cutting edge accessories to really bring my game to the next level. I found it, the trackball. Now, I thought I was looking for a trackball mouse. However, it clearly says trackball, not trackball mouse. So, I'm gonna game on this. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Would you like to know my options for cases? Yeah. Pizza box? Oh gosh. Shoe box, <laughs> desktop, tower. Wow. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. Pizza. I miss the pizza box. These were not names in 2009. Oh, it has a drive bay. Look at that. Mm, that is actually oh, oh, pretty good. You know what? Real talk, though. Wait, but where am I going to put my floppy disk? Put there. That's where my optical drive disk goes, Ken. With my pizza box case, I only have one component to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't. Yeah. <sighs> Tells me that. The power supply is included in the case. A pre-installed power supply not only eliminates the step of building your PC, but also ensures you get a power supply of the proper rating. What? That was bad advice for 2009. You buy a case and it has a power supply of the correct rating? How's the case supposed to know when you're supposed All right, so I gotta buy my own power supply and I gotta do it by myself. I'm a dummy. So apparently my case is supposed to come with a power supply of 300 watts, which is enough for every build. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Do you have power supplies that I could actually install myself? Apparently it's a really risky proposition, but I think I might be able to be yeah, up for it. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah. 750, that's twice as much as any real computer can need. 850? This future is incredible. A thousand watts, 1.25 gigawatts. Okay, I gotta calm down, I gotta calm down. As if hundreds of pages of how to build a PC for dummies wasn't enough, I'm armed with one more piece of research. An hour long DVD giving the step-by-step -step on how to build a Pentium Screamer. This video is sponsored by the new Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. If you've been in the market for a great gaming experience, then the Legion 5 Pro might just be for you. This laptop is packing up to an RTX 3070 and an eight core Ryzen 7, so you're gonna have enough power to play pretty much any game you can throw at it. 
Add in the fact that this laptop supports Lenovo's Legion AI engine, which helps to optimize your CPU and GPU's power to ensure the fastest performance possible in 16 of the latest AAA titles. But laptops aren't only about performance. The Legion 5 Pro comes in a sleek and minimalist package with 3D audio that lets you connect a Bluetooth speaker to give you that RO bliss that you deserve. Your hands won't be left out of the fun either, with a full RGB keyboard with sub millisecond response time. And with almost nine hours of battery life, you won't have to worry about it dying while you're in the middle of class. Once you've picked up your Legion 5 Pro, you'll be ecstatic to know that getting started couldn't be easier. It ships with Windows 11, meaning you won't have to worry about upgrading at all, and it comes with three months free of PC Game Pass. You can be ready to play over 100 games on day one of opening your fancy new laptop. So what are you waiting for? Start owning noobs today with your very own Legion 5 Pro with the link in the description below. So now it is time to learn how to build a PC for dummies. So I've got my resident dummy friends here. We're all gonna watch the DVD together. Wow. He looks exactly what I thought he was gonna look like. <laughs> well, so first of all, I like the time capsule of all of the stuff that is in frame the here. Not even the computer, not even the computers to the other side of him. Yeah. I'm looking at the blue Lynx's router. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the Above blue. the drive, yeah. yeah, Which yeah. I the parts you need before we get started are your case with the power supply pre-installed. No, Mark! Stop telling me my case has a power supply installed. It doesn't. It never did. The only tools you need are your bare hands, an index card, weird science, huh? And we're gonna add the thermal compound. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 stop, wait. stop, no, no. Why is he doing it outside of the, the motherboard? You're making a goddamn Ooh. Picasso over here. <laughs> <laughs> How much is he putting on? Ah, he oh went my around God. There. He went around. What are whoa. you doing? <laughs> and so it is time to build ourselves a gaming PC for dummies. I have all my components here, my boy Mark to guide me through the process. What could possibly go wrong? The instructions were clear. Uh-huh. There's only one way to apply thermal paste. And what's that? Hold the CPU in your hands and squirt it. I didn't like that terminology, but we can go with that. How do you open up thermal paste with one hand? He was clear. You apply your thermal paste all over the CPU, and then you <laughs> drop it in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate it. I hate it. It's the way! The book told no, us to do this! He also said do like a top thing and then bottom. So you can see some beautiful detail. Now I'm going to smear it like some peanut butter sandwich. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I'm just getting mostly on my finger. How are you supposed to do this while holding it? I mean, it looks like I just sneezed on my CPU. I am going to gently place it because I don't want to spend the next three hours fixing like 85 bent pens. So with my fingers covered in thermal paste, Gonna gently drop it into place. One, two. Okay, that was maybe slightly more aggressive than I should have done it, but this cooler, being straight out of 2009, is amazing. Just listen to this. Donda, 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 Donda. I was about to put this back in the case, but I was way too curious. So why don't we take off the cooler and see how that thermal paste actually did. I'm slightly concerned. I've taken off the bracket. There's nothing holding this on besides thermal paste right now. It's just stuck on. So are you ready to see what this looks like? Oh yeah. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at how much is on there. I mean, I'll say that's probably not enough to actually cause like damage to it. Like it didn't actually spill over the edges of the CPU, but it's so thick. It's honestly probably gonna be a little bit of a problem. Maybe, I, get, I think this is okay, but man, that is like- We still don't recommend it. Do not do this. It's caked on there. Also, shout out to the Zalman for like slicing my fingers in multiple ways. <laughs> like I've got blood on my knuckles and on the inside of my hands. This thing might look cool, but every one of these things is sharp and you have to put so much pressure on it. I gotta put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Armed with all the knowledge my PC for Dummies guide could possibly provide, I have this. The greatest gaming PC 2009 could have ever hoped for. Jared? Yes, sir. As the office dummies, I think we have a lot to prove now, but we have successfully built ourselves a large pizza Courtesy of our good buddy, Mark. Would you like to do the honors of pressing the power button and seeing if we follow the step-by-step -step tutorial correctly? Might as well. Ooh. That's power. That seems promising. That Dude, seems promising. The, can you hear that? Did you hear the hard drive clicking? Oh yeah, I haven't heard that in a while. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey! 
<laughs> Course wait. is Gundam. We're not done though. We still need to install Windows. The most important part. So I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, that's a fancy looking disc. Yo, actually though, Windows 11 Home, they actually did not skimp at all. It's very shiny. Here goes nothing. Wait, what? 